Hey guys, it's Taylor. Um, there's some construction going on right now, so I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna start in like a modified child's pose. So take the knees not too wide, um, but comfortable for you. Send the hips back towards the heels. Um, try and keep the knees hip width distance apart at the most, at like the widest. Reach the arms out towards the top of the mat and let your forehead find the ground. Take a few breaths here. Breathing into the belly, filling up through the space between the ribs and the backside body. And then with your next inhale, you're gonna shift your way to upward facing dog. So push through your hands as you draw your chest through your shoulders and roll the shoulders down and back. Push through the tops of your feet to lift the thighs and the knees up. Pull your low core in and then lift the chest and the gaze up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, push back to child's pose. That modified hip width distance apart child's pose. Push the hips back down towards the heels. Keep the arms where they are. Puff up through the shoulders so you feel a little bit of a stretch in them. And then as you inhale, come back through to upward facing dog. Maybe you flip, or yeah, maybe you have the toes on the mat to keep the thighs and the knees lifted. Draw the chest up and through the gates of the shoulders. And then as you exhale, push back to that child's pose. So see what you like better if you like to tuck your toes or keep the tops of the feet on the mat. And then your next inhale, draw the chest through, upward facing dog. On the exhale, hold. And then push back to child's pose. This time as you inhale, almost up through tabletop position, puff up through the shoulders and then start to lift the hips all the way to downward facing dog. Let the heels reach down towards the mat as you push through the index fingers to reach the chest closer towards your thighs. Maybe pedal out the legs. And with your next inhale, bend the knees. Take the feet a little bit wide. So hip width distance apart or more. And then as you exhale, bend your knees and point the knees outwards. Bring the hips down towards the heels, crouching tiger. Full inhale, lift the hips back up. Rotate on the toes, push the heels back down and then exhale. So inhale, come on the toes. And then exhale, you're gonna rotate the toes out and the heels in as you push the hips back towards the heels and push through the hands as well. Crouch and tiger the gaze up towards the top of the mat. Full inhale, lift the, the hips up, come onto the toes, ro rotate on the toes, and then exhale, push the hips back down to, for downward facing dog. Last time, full inhale, come onto the toes, exhale, the heels point in, the toes point out, push the hips down towards the heels, the knees out for crouching tiger, open through the hips, and then full inhale, lift the hips back, or sorry, <laughs> yeah, lift the hips back up, push the heels back down. Sorry, we're gonna do one more. I said it was the last time, but it's not. Full inhale, come on the toes, and then exhale as the heel points in, the toes point out, the hips come low. Now you're gonna walk your hands back in towards yourself for Malasana. If you need a wider stance, you can go ahead and heel toe the feet out. If you can't get the heels on the mat, you can take a rolled up blanket underneath your heels, or you can just go to your um, horse pose, wherever that is for you, with the knees rotating out and back towards the back wall, the pelvis tucked underneath you, the core pulled in, the hips open here. So if Malasana is not available, you can try that, or you can try a block underneath the butt. But open through the hips, wherever you are, if you're in Malasana, or if you're in horse pose, full inhale, take the right hand down, the left hand high, exhale, hold. Full inhale, bring the left hand down, Exhale to hold, and then inhale, right hand comes high. Exhale to twist a little bit deeper. And then full inhale, the right hand comes back down. And then as you exhale, you're gonna push the hips up, forward fold, rotate the feet parallel. Heel toe them in towards one another. Release the neck and the back, let gravity take over. Shift the weight more in the balls of the feet. Take a couple breaths here. 
And then with your next inhale, slowly start to walk the hands back out to your downward facing dog. Keep pushing through your index fingers to reach the chest farther back towards your thighs. Let the heels sink down towards the mat. Bend your knees if you need. And then with your next inhale, the right leg reaches high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the right leg through to low lunge. Drop down on the back knee, full inhale. Squeeze through the inner thighs, low crescent lunge. The arms come up, the low core pulls in. Roll your shoulders down and back. And then full inhale, take a hand to the earth or the block. And then we're gonna go through a quad stretch. So take the, bend the left knee and reach the right hand to the pinky toe side of your left foot or maybe grab a strap to wrap around if you can't reach it. Slowly start to kick the foot in the hand, the hand in the foot. Make sure your front knee is stacked over your front ankle. Try not to let it go past your ankle. Feel a stretch in the hip flexor. Come all the way down to your elbow if it's available for you. Or maybe just work on getting off the block. And then with your next exhale, gently release the foot. Squeeze through the inner thighs, pop up off the back knee. And then inhale up, full crescent pose. Squeeze through the inner thighs, lift the chest up. Pull the low core in, roll the shoulders away from the ears and down the back. And then as you exhale, we're gonna open all the way to horse pose. So if you didn't take malasana, you took this. Open your knees and drop the hips low, bend the knees. Keep the pelvis slightly tucked. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, the low core is still engaged. The hands push evenly into each other. And then with your next inhale, take the hands to the tops of the thighs. Exhale, push through your right hand and drop your right shoulder down towards your left thigh. Hold here. And then inhale, come back through center. Exhale, switch sides. Left shoulder drops towards the, the right knee. Open through that left hip. And then your next inhale, come back through center. All the way back to your full crescent lunge. Pivot on the back toes. Point the right toes forward. Keep the front knee stacked over the front ankle. Squeeze through the inner thighs. Keep the low core engaged. And then exhale, twist from the belly button. The right hand reaches back. Twisted full crescent lunge. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left hand reaches high. Keep the bend in the front knee. Low core still pulls in. Exhale to twist all the way open for warrior two. Back heel finds the mat. Front toes still face forward. Heels bisect each other. Open through your hips and keep your shoulders stacked over your hips. Try not to reach the, the shoulders past the hips. Keep the low core engaged. The shoulders pinch back like there's a pencil in between them. And then with your next inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in the front knee as you reach back towards the back wall. Left hand slides down the back leg with little to no weight in it, or it can take a bind behind your back. Reach the right arm back, take the exhale to get a little deeper. And then as you inhale, that front knee should stay bent, open through the knee, try not to let it collapse inwards. Reach the right arm down, left arm comes high, extended side angle pose. Keep the lift in the right side body, use the oblique muscles, rotate the left shoulder away from the ear. Full inhale, full exhale. With your next inhale, pivot on your back toe, squeeze through your inner thighs, full crescent lunge. You've got it. Full inhale, and then exhale to your warrior one. Back heel finds a 45 degree angle. Shorten the stance if you need it. You can also widen the stance, taking the heel toe, heel toeing the right toe out towards the edge of the mat to make more room for the hips. Pull the left hip forward, the, or yeah, pull the right hip, left hip forward, and the right hip back. To keep the hips squared in warrior two, we open the hips in warrior one, we wanna keep them square. So your next exhale, bring the hands down and around, clasp them behind your back and pull the thumbs down towards the mat for chest expansion. And then your next inhale, lift through the sternum, pull the low core in and then exhale, reach the chest forward, keep a long flat spine as you let the chest fall to the inside part of the right thigh for humble warrior. Push to the outer edge of the back, pinky toe, to keep your balance. And then with your next inhale, the hands come down to the earth layer of the blocks. Square your back foot so that it's in line with your, or so that it's hip width distance apart with your right leg. Reach the hips back into space, pyramid pose. Start to straighten your front leg out. 
And then with your next inhale, take the weight on the hands and hover the right foot up off the ground as you lower down to pigeon pose all the way to sleeping pigeon, getting into that right hip. Let the forehead find the ground or maybe a block. Again, stay evenly rooted through both hips. And then with your next inhale, start to lift the chest back up. Take the back toes to the mat, and then back to downward facing dog. Start to pedal out the legs. Take the feet hip width distance apart or more. And then as you inhale, come on the toes. Exhale, crouching tiger, heels point in, toes point out. Bend the knees, drop the hips towards the heels, push through the hands. Full inhale, lift the hips back up, come on the toes. Exhale to push the hips back down, the chest back towards the thighs, downward facing dog. Full inhale, toes. Exhale, crouching tiger, gaze up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, heels down, downward facing dog. Last time, full inhale, the toes come up and then exhale, the heels point in, the toes point out to crouching tiger. Full inhale, slowly walk the hands back towards the feet. Take the hands, heart center, widen the stance if you need. Take the elbows to the inside parts of the thighs to open the hips even more. Keep the chest over the hips, pull the low core in and try and root the heels on the mat. Take your horse pose if Malasana isn't available yet. Or take that block underneath the tush if you need. And then with your next inhale, bring the feet parallel as you reach the hips up and then the chest down for forward fold, release the neck. Inhale, lift the chest back up, halfway lift. And then exhale, walk the hands back out to your downward facing dog. Lift the left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the left leg through to the hands. Drop down to the back knee. Inhale, full crescent lunge, squeeze through the inner thigh. Exhale to roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, the right hand come, come to the block on the inside part of the left foot. And then reach the right hand to the back pinky, or the right pinky toe as you bend the right knee. Or you can grab a strap if it's not accessible. Start to kick the foot into the hand as the hand pushes in the foot. And keep the squeeze through the inner thighs. Take a few more breaths here. Remembering to keep the breath full. And then with your next end, exhale, gently release the foot. Bring the toes back down to the mat. Squeeze through the inner thighs, pop the back knee up off the mat. Lift the chest up, full crescent lunge. Keep the bend in the front knee, stacked over the ankle, the ankle, the ankle. Try not to let it go past. Keep the low core hugged in. And then with your next exhale, open all the way up to horse pose. The heels point in, the toes point out. Bend the knees, the hips come low. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe rock side to side, find a little bit of movement or maybe find stillness. And then take the hands to the thighs. Full exhale, drop the right shoulder down towards the left thigh. As you open through the right hip. Full inhale, come back through center. Exhale, switch sides. The left shoulder down towards the right knee. Full inhale, back through center. All the way back to full crescent lunge, pivot on the back toes. Square the hips forward, squeeze through the inner thighs, and then exhale, take a twist, pull the low core in, twist from the belly button. The left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. And then drop the left arm down, right arm reaches high. Small back bend, and then TikTok all the way open, warrior two on your exhale. Let the heels bisect each other. Front toes facing forward, front knee opens towards the back wall to keep the hips open and keep the shoulders stacked over the hips, pinch the shoulders back, back and together. Full inhale, keep the bend in the front leg as you reach the left arm back towards the back wall. Continue pushing through the outer edge of the back foot, the back pinky toe as well, and then inhale, come back through center. Bring the left arm down to the earth block or the shin as the right arm reaches high, extended side angle pose. Keep the bend in the front knee. Keep the lift in the left side body. And then full inhale, start to square the chest back up, full crescent lunge, pivot on the back toes, squeeze through the inner thighs, engage the core, roll the shoulders away from the ears. 
and then full inhale, bring the right heel down towards the mat for at a 45 degree angle for warrior one, heel toe the left foot out if you need more room. Take the hands behind you for chest expansion, pull the thumbs down towards the mat. Full inhale, lift through the chest and the sternum, and then exhale, humble warrior. Let the chest fall to the inside part of the left leg as you pull the thumbs back towards the back wall. One more breath here, full inhale. Exhale, release the hands down as you, as you square the right foot and then push the hips back into space as you straighten the front leg and reach the back heel down towards the mat, pyramid pose. Take a couple breaths here, try and lengthen the chest down the leg. And then with your next inhale, re-bend the left knee, take the weight into the hands and start to take the left knee down to the left wrist. Let the hips follow into sleeping pigeon. Open this front leg as much as you'd like, but as long as you can keep both hips rooted, maybe grab a block underneath this front hip if pigeon pose is difficult for you. Try and lower the chest down towards the mat, the forehead on maybe a block or the earth maybe on the hands if you're somewhere in between. Hips stay square, the breath stays full. And then with your next inhale, start to lift the chest back up. Take the hands to the mat, push through the right toes. Take the left foot back to meet the right foot downward facing dog. Full inhale, shift the weight forward, drop down to the knees. Exhale, push back to child's pose. Inhale, come back through to that upward facing dog. Lift the thighs, the knees up, shine the chest up, roll the shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, push back to child's pose. Inhale, back through tabletop, puff up through the shoulders. And then exhale, downward facing dog, push the hips high. Inhale, the gaze comes up to the top of the mat. Walk yourself to the top, forward fold, hang your neck heavy, release the neck. Bend your knees if you need, lift the hips a little bit higher. And then as you inhale, bend the knees, engage the core, rise to toss and the arms reach overhead. Exhale, lift through, or roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift through the sternum and the core, pull the low core in, and then exhale, take a back bend. Reach the elbows back and cactus them, lift the chest up and gaze towards the back wall. Inhale, the arms come back up, and then exhale, the hands can come hard center. Repeat that as many times as you like, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope everything is going well. Namaste.